Hey lads, what's up, what's up, what's up? So I was just laying here. Uh, I should just fit my face uh, late. So I wanted to address something. <clears throat> Excuse me, loves. <clears throat> so I wanted to address something. I made a comment and I'm going to stand by my comment because I believe it in my spirit within my soul. And... I was guided to this sister years ago, some years back. And back then she was a tarot reader. And her name was um Angelic Guidance 333, okay? So I kept she kept coming up on my feed, right? And I was like, okay, well, I know spirit, my ancestors, they pulling her up for a reason. So let me go ahead and um chime in and see what's up. So I started following her, and when I said, even when I was like um, going through a lot of things um, that had took place, excuse me, y'all, <clears throat> and God um, wanted me to isolate myself for for a while, right? Um, that's when I learned about my twin, <clears throat> um, my ex fiance, who I was engaged with maybe three times. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, love. So, um, I had lost my job and everything, um, due to the karmic that she was with, right? Um, let's just say I know they played a part in me losing my, um, job. And, um, what happened was I was going through some things, exhausted all my 401k and everything. And, um, I ended up having to leave where I stayed at because um you know how you was robbing Peter to pay Paul right so that's pretty much what was happening <clears throat> long story short I ended up going to having to stay with my youngest daughter um because she had just gave birth to my first grandchild and she needed help you know and I needed help also so I went there to help her out with my grandbaby and um stay with her for a little short period of time but you know you guys when i don't care how close she is with your kids you know you just don't feel right at least i didn't feel right living with my daughter even with my grandchild there you know you want your own but i knew i needed to leave because uh certain things just wasn't sitting right um not per se with my daughter but with me and there's things i needed to work on for me so long story on um Sure, I end up going to a shelter, okay? Not because my daughter didn't want me there. It was because of the choice that I made. Actually, I didn't even tell them that I was going to a shelter. <clears throat> Excuse me, loves. Um, I hit my eldest daughter. I had pretended like I was going to an appointment or just going somewhere. She didn't know where it was. My uh, my baby do daughter, didn't, my youngest didn't know, nor my son. But that particular daughter, my eldest daughter, she pays attention to everything. And she's like, oh, mama, where are you going? You know? That's the reason for me saying this, okay? So, um, I was like, oh, you know, um, I have this appointment, right? And she's like, well, what is the appointment for? She's very inquisitive like that. That's very goes for you, but whatever. So, anywho, I didn't want her to tell my youngest daughter, nor did I want her to tell my, my son, because I knew that they were worried, right? So, I had this little bag that I packed for myself. It was enough for me for a few days or whatever. And I know she paid close attention to it, but get this. When I went in, I checked in, <clears throat> you know, kind of like grass where I was going to stay and lay my head. It wasn't a very good, clean place, but it was a place to keep me off the streets. Okay. Um, and at that time I had lost my car, um, lost my apartment, lost my car. That, yeah. I had lost my car because my daughter had to take me. Yeah. Because I would have took myself if I, if I still had my vehicle at that time. But um, I was grateful, to be honest. Um, it was a lot of stuff I needed to ponder for myself, things I needed to do for myself. And I didn't feel right people doing anything for me. That's just how I was. I've been like that all my life. Um, that's how I was born and raised um, to do for yourself. Now, I did have family members that were the type, you know, they thought man, a man's supposed to take care of them. I don't believe that. I believe if you're with someone, I don't deal with men, but I'm just saying in general, I hate to see women think that a man is supposed to take care of them, pay all their bills and shit. 
uh, no, y'all supposed to take care of each other. That's just me. Now, did I have aunties that felt like their husband was supposed to take care of them? Yeah, but I don't follow that. I don't believe that. I don't care what's in the Bible about a man. No, I don't believe that. I'm sorry. Now, during that time, you guys, um, I come to realize a lot of things, too. Uh, let me move this over because, you know, some people be so nosy. <laughs> they be all in your business. Okay. So, um, I've, over time, I started, like, I wasn't raised with the Bible. I was raised, um, Baptist. And then, I don't know, it was just something about, I, I just felt that everybody, a lot of people that were attending the church was just bigots to me. You know, they would preach this, preach that, and act like they holier than thou, but yet they be in there talking about everybody, what they have on, what they were. It, it does not matter what you come in church. As long as you got no, your tatas all out and stuff, to me, that's being disrespectful to God, um, the house of the Lord. So I think you can go in there in jeans and gym shoes and still be able to hear the word. But these days, you can't even listen to the preacher, <laughs> the pastor, none of them, because most of them out here having sex with kids or they're cheating on they, they um, their wives you know <laughs> it's just crazy so i stopped attending church and when i did try to read the bible i was looking at a lot of stuff and i'm like wait this is not god saying these things i knew in my spirit and within my soul there wasn't god speaking everything that's in the bible so i stopped attending church because i didn't i didn't believe it i didn't believe the word that they was preaching because most of them wasn't following it anyway they were preaching it getting money having you you know tied and all that shit i'm gonna be real be real and if you guys are getting triggered uh that's on you click off so um, i kept um when i when i started um following this sister uh angelic guidance 333 she started picking up on a lot of stuff when i was in the shelters okay a lot of things um that i felt god was guiding me to listen to her china so i can get guidance right so I continue to um, subscribe to her channel and continue to get a lot of messages from the Holy Spirit. And I had a, I even told God, you know, I thank him for blessing me with her. Um, and then I started noticing a little change in her. Um, I even had a reading done from her. Um, she's a very sweet person. Don't get me wrong. You know, I'm not knocking her, um, her character. Um and is she really in tune with God and literally speak to God? Because she does. Um, I got a lot of confirmation from God through her. And God was working on her just like he works on a lot of us. Like none of us are saints, okay? So one thing, reason I stopped following her is because I had a talk with God on many occasions. And I would say to him, like, I know that he doesn't want us judging one another. Um, and I also know that with me, I know he was working on me to be able to speak my mind because I used to be the type. Yeah, Leo's people paint Leo's as being loud and uh, obnoxious. Some Leo's are, but you got to understand every sign is not the same. And not and I know I know I used to hear a lot of reasons say, "Oh, Leo's like um a lot of attention." Anybody that, that knows me, I'm, I don't like a lot of attention. Uh, that's why I say I don't say that every sign is alike because all signs are not alike they may have some similar similarities characteristics and stuff but they not all of them are the same and i would hear like <clears throat> me i don't believe in cheating sorry y'all that's my tv um i still had it on and it's gonna go in the i'm not watching it whatever but there's a reason to the madness and there's a reason i feel the way i feel i've noticed um me I like to, I'm kind of like more to myself, but when I get to know you, you know, I'm going to be me, you know, um, everybody know me. I'm going to keep it real and 100 with you. I'm very blunt, but then I had, God had to, um, work with me and speak in my truth and that it's okay to speak, you know, not worry about, oh, hurting somebody's feelings, but it's always a, how you deliver your message to people. Right. So I've learned that over time. So he had to work with, with me on that because when I was with my twin, I would allow her to say certain things and I wouldn't speak my piece because I didn't want to hurt her feelings. Okay. Because of things that she's been through in her past. So, and that kind of 
made me feel like I didn't have a voice, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't able to speak freely. With that being said, being in a shelter, it allowed me time with myself. And I used to get up, you know, because we had to get up early in the morning and do something productive. And I felt that I had to to go out and walk by the beaches, walk by the parks, because they weren't very far. And I would walk bare feet. And I would spend time with myself and I would talk to God. I would pray. And when I would get back in them shelters, y'all, it, it would be so bad. Now, I have some good shelters out here, okay? And I would cry, you know, Um because I would look at like, how did I let myself get to this point? Um, but I knew it was for me to walk away from my twin so that I can find myself again. Because I lost myself. Now, sorry, y'all have some issues with my sinuses. Um, during that time, I was supporting Angelic Guidance 3 through 3. She made a lot of emphasis on things that God was saying that he did not put in the Bible. Okay. Cause I made a comment and I made it more than on one occasion because I'm not the only one that feel like something's off about the Bible. Not that nothing's in there by God. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying though, is majority of that stuff about, um, you should only lay with a male counterpart. That's not true. God is, if if everybody knows that God is a loving God, God is not going to tell you to lay with someone that you're not attracted to, to lay with someone that you do not love, to lay with someone um, that you just don't want to be with just to appease him. He's not going to tell you to do that. It's free will, yes? Now, he's not telling you to get out here and lay with dogs and animals because there's some nasty, psychotic people that do do stuff like that, okay? You can find that all on YouTube and all, some of these others crazy websites or whatever but um i'm gonna stand by that and i don't give two fucks what anybody's saying and what they little smart ass comments that they make too so when i see or a feed go past and my ancestors like you know watch this i'm gonna watch it and i i get that little glimpse of the smart ass comments somebody made yes to each his own everybody deserves their own they they have a right to their own opinion I ain't knock nobody for their opinion, but if I feel something's not right, I'm going to speak on it, right? So I don't get too fucked if it, you know, it offends somebody. I really don't. Just like you speak your piece, I'm going to speak mine. And like I said before, just like angelic guidance got that message and God told her to say that everything in the Bible is not from him. And I knew that. I felt it in my spirit, even as a little girl, like, no, this is not true. He's not going to tell you. Now, I used to have a hard time when um when I was a little girl because that's when I knew I was attracted to women right I did not want to be with my kids dad I, I promise you I didn't I didn't never was attracted like you could say they, they look nice and all that stuff but I wasn't whole when I was with them and he knew that he was actually the one who um talked to me it's a long story I, I think I told that before but I'm not for sure if I told you guys on YouTube but he was the one that actually told me to be happy and he knew something was off, but he thought it was him. And we sat down and held a whole conversation and he told me, you know what? You need to be happy. If you're happy with a woman, then you happy with a woman. Be with a woman. And he's homophobe, y'all. <laughs> I kid y'all not. This man is homophobe, straight up homophobe. But when I came out and, and I finally told my mom, my mom didn't judge me. My my stepdad did though. Uh, he he would t say things in front of me before he... um. I introduced him to my first love, um, my first girlfriend, shall I say, because she wasn't my first love. Um, but um, my mom and my siblings embraced me. They didn't care. My kids were young, but they didn't care because I taught my kids not to judge anybody, right? And they still don't to this day. Um, they welcome people with open arms no matter what their sexual orientation is, okay? Or their color or gender, whatever. So this is how you raise your kids. Um, there was, I will say my stepdad, uh, would make a little comment, but I had never heard him make another comment after that. Cause my mom said, no, she's not in the face. If she says she's gay, she's gay, <laughs> you know? And I haven't heard him say anything else in my presence. Okay. So that was the first time I actually heard my mama, um, you know, like take up for me, you know? So that was a beautiful thing to me. 
uh, my siblings didn't have any issues with that, like my brothers or my or my sisters. So I really loved that, and I was blown away, and I was happy. And then the first thing my mother said was like, "Well, who is the lucky girl? Where's your girlfriend at?" <laughs> and then one of my sisters, I don't know which one of my sisters, ran to the window. It's like, um, like she was in a car. It was like, and then my mom was like, "Let her, let her come in. Tell her to come in." So I let her come in, and they met her, and they wasn't funny even my stepdad he wasn't funny acting towards her but he just really thought I was in a, you know he was entitled to his opinion he thought I was going through a phase but I wasn't so there's a reason for me ex um letting you guys know this so when angelic years after that angelic God has made that statement about what God told her and told her that it was okay for her to um post it on YouTube I was so happy I was like I knew it and my uncle, when the reason I didn't come out sooner when I was younger is because when my uncle came out, like he had some siblings that were okay with it, but it was one. Um, and of course, you know, we always have somebody that's a little reserved, like my stepdad was, okay? And that was cool. Um, we're not here to appease anybody, okay? We're here to live our life, do what we're supposed to be doing, fuck everybody else, okay? <laughs> and that goes for other fucking readers too or anybody on the platform on youtube or facebook or any other platform so everybody's entitled to their opinion but like i said i'm and i'm gonna stand on my word if you are in tune with god and i feel we all are in tune with god it's all about us opening up that channel to speak to him if you're able to hear him clear audiently okay now um I honestly seen God and the angels. God um shown himself to me with the archangels along the side of him. And um I was blown away. I was like, whoa, holy. I got so emotional. I didn't know what to do. Twice. He shown himself to me twice. And one time I called out to him and he he spoke to me. Oh my God, that was so long ago. <laughs> um I wish I could remember what he said i can't remember y'all to be honest um but i just seen 17 17 wow and um it was so many things that angelic goddess well she goes by stephanie p smith now so if you guys want to watch her feel free i honestly that's too many videos for me to go back and try to find which one it was i wish i rem i can recall which one it was i would post it because it, it just baffles me that certain people, um, I don't think that they're not speaking to God, other readers, because you can uh, get certain clarifications to know that they are, that God would get them to say something they don't even know that they're saying it, and but they clarifying something for you, for us as a, uh, as a community, okay, as a collective. So my thing is, regardless of how we were raised by our family, they were raised by their family and they they was raised by their family. So it's generationals, right? Just um, a generation. Um, my thing is, if my mother was raised by her mother to do certain things or to respect their parents, because everybody don't respect their parents. Some people out here, they talk shit to their parents like it ain't no tomorrow. Okay. Um, but yet they was raised to be respectful. But if they used to, their parents talking shit to their parents, then they think it's okay, right? So if your parents raise you as Christian, you think it's okay to just be Christian. You're not going to switch to Baptist, right? That's some people, but some people have a mind of their own. They don't go by what their parents told them because everything our parents taught us is not right. It's by what they would, that what the, how they was raised, right? So of course, we're going to believe our parents because they're our parents, our mother and our father or our mother and and our stepfather or our stepmom and our dad, whatever the case, however you were raised. It's no disrespect to our parents. I love my mom and my dad with all my heart. But um, I know that everything that they taught me was because of the way they was raised or the way they were taught by their parents. And if I feel some type of way and know that something is not right and I have to do my own research, then that's what I did. Just like I knew that that Bible was not always Everything in that Bible is not from God because God himself said so. So it's funny how sister, I I, I had seen a day, um, it said a day ago, but I never seen it. Okay. Cause I, every, everybody that I subscribe to or I follow or whatever, I don't watch all their videos. Okay. I only watch when I'm guided to watch. 
And then some just like, well, why do I want to listen to this? It's the title is not for me. So I noticed what the comment in maybe like mm, less than 15, maybe less than 10, 10, 10 minutes or so. This reader, she made a comment and said, yeah, some about the gays and the Bible, but I'm not going to get into that. But you did get into it. So to you, sis, I'm going to go back again. You have a connection with God, right? So ask God. Ask God is everything in that Bible from him. And he will clearly tell you no. That's why I made the comment that if anybody actually talks to God, God would tell you like he told angelic guidance and that it was okay for her to tell us that everything in that Bible is not from God. So, which means our parents, of course, are going to go what's in the Bible because that's how they was raised by what's in the Bible. And it's no disrespect to my mother and my father because both of them was raised in church, okay, and knew the Bible and knew scriptures, but they going by what my grandparents taught them. Everything our grandparents know is, is what they thought they was ta taught in the Bible, but everything in the Bible is not from God. So, I knew in my spirit to follow my own heart okay that everything my parents taught me is not right because they were taught from their parents of what their parents taught them and so on okay so it's not to knock anybody's parents not even to knock my parents but my parents know me i'm like the type i'm gonna follow my own gut instinct if i feel something is wrong and i know my spirit is wrong then i'm not gonna follow somebody else's religion or what they feel is right that's in the bible when I feel and I know in my spirit that everything I, I kept telling my kids, I, I, I know in my heart that man over years, men put things in that Bible and put it off as though God put it in there and God did not put it in there. So I'm going to stand on that, sister. And I ain't going to change that for nobody, not even you. So for that smart ass uh, talking about the gay and all that in the Bible and it's being taught wrong. Yes, the fuck it is being taught wrong. And I stand on that to this day. So why don't you take time with God? Forgive me, Lord. Take time with God. And I know you talk to God, ask God, did he put that in the Bible that, um, you know, about the gays and women should lay with one uh, man and man should lay, <laughs> lay with woman. You lay with who you want to lay with. I'm not saying lay with animals. I'm talking about who you truly love in your heart. God is not going to make you lay with somebody that you're not wanting to be with, that you're not in love with, that you want, you desire to see yourself with in a future. He's not going to do that. And that's not knocking your parents. It's truth. And yeah, I caught that too. So right back at you, sis. <laughs> Till next time. Later.